Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome if you're new. My name is Les and we are Therese Nouvage. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber and welcome, welcome if you're a new subscriber. We hope that you stay. We are such a loving family and we are hoping that you will be feeling safe and comfortable in this home. All right, as I have promised you guys that I will be showing you how I make made the top for the palazzo shorts that i have made so i am going to be showing you how i did that so first of all what i did is so what i did first was to fold my cloth into two as i did and then i have started with my neckline which was 3.5 is to 3.5 so while we're in this video guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe do all those great things share let others know that you are learning with therese nouvage and thank you so much that you guys have made my wish come true the wish was that i wish that i get to 40 subscribers before the year end thank you thank you thank you so much i hope that you guys stay so now i am going to be checking the length of this top so i went for 14 because i only wanted it to stay right under my breast but if you want to go longer you can always do that so i went for 14 inches and then for my next I went for 9.5 inches and then I also for the boss line I went for I went for 13 and then I've divided my boss line with 4 so it gave me a 3.25 so that's how I got to get my arm so that is how I got to get my arm and then like I said I went for a 14 inches for my length so y'all this line right here let me show you this line right here will serve as the back part of your neck so you will see when we cut how we cut this out to separate the part the back part of this top with the front part of this top okay so remember you are still folding your your cloth into two all right so i am going to show you how to cut this this is just simple you are going to cut it on fold like that So now we have our first part and we are going to place it onto our cloth which is also folded into two okay so you're just gonna place like that so I like to pin my cloth so that I do not miss on it so I just pin it down so that it stays the way I want it to stay it doesn't move around and then we are just gonna follow exactly what we did on the first one so we're just gonna cut it just like that okay i just gave it a little bit of um sewing allowance because it is the back part but then again it's also up to you if you want it to be tight or if you want it to be a bit loose but if you want it to be a bit loose then you will add just an inch or half an inch to the back side of your or the back part of your top now so remember i told you that the other part will serve as the back uh part of your neck so this is the part that i wanted to show you okay so i am going to remove this one from the first um part or the first side of this top which is front so i'm going to remove it because it is the front part of this top so that is our neck so that is our neck on the front piece okay so we are just gonna leave the back side or the back part as it is now we are going to place the back side to the front side with um right sides facing each other all the time do not make any mistake okay
so we are just gonna pin it down and take it to the machine up to the machine so now this is what we have and then I am going to be placing this piece right here which I cut according to the neck the front part of the neck so I'm going to place it right side facing each other turn it and also turn it inside okay I don't know if you guys will understand that part but after sewing and ironing it I will turn it inside and then iron the other part so that it stays just the way I want it to stay so for now this is the end of the video you guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will come back for more please please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe until we meet again, God loves you and so do I. Bye guys.